Hello YouTube! It is Toy Adventures here again with another video. Now I know guys it's been kind of a while, but don't worry, I have good news. Guess what? The newest toy movie drops tomorrow. Yes, you heard me right. It drops tomorrow. So be ready. Uh, same time as always. I upload them at like 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So yeah. I mean, usually I say, oh, you can expect the movie by the end of the week. No, it's coming out tomorrow. So guys, uh, be ready. Anyway, back on today's topic. Um, as you can see here, we have the infamous, the elusive, the ever expensive, or at least on a secondary market, San Diego Comic Con exclusive Medri. Now, um, when I pre-ordered, uh, when I went to go pre-order the San Diego Comic Con Medri, I went on Mattel Creations because I missed out on the Entertainment Earth uh, first release. And then I went on Mattel Creations where they were going to release it again. And I put in two pre-orders for the Master Chief set and a Nedry. Well, when I checked out, the Nedry was sold out. Uh, but I got both of my Master Chief sets, which, by the way, I absolutely adore. Now, you guys might be wondering why I didn't do a review on it. Well, doing a review would require me to open it, and that's not what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys a cool little feature. You know, you guys deserve, you guys deserve to see something of this because there won't be a review on this because I'm not going to open it. Uh, I'm going to keep it nice in the box. But, ooh, I love this thing so much. As a huge Halo fan, I love this so much. So, had to get this, but I got two. And that leads into the rest of the story, which is um, a good friend of mine. I know you guys have heard me mention it before. His name is Nostalgic Adam on Instagram. Uh, he managed to secure multiple Nedries, and uh, he wanted the Chief, but missed out on it. I missed out on the Nedry, but I didn't miss out on the Chief. So, you guys can guess what happened next. We traded, because we are local collectors, so we met up, traded. So yeah, we got we had each other's backs, so super cool that that worked out, and I didn't have to shovel out a huge amount of money to pay for a scalper price. So, um, let's get the lights back on. Yeah, so taking a look at the packaging, this is a... Uh, this is just the outer shell packaging. It's like a little rectangle that says Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park. All it says, a bunch of legal jargon on the back, on the bottom, open it up. You guys weren't supposed to see that yet. All right, so, get rid of this. The first thing you guys will notice is that this is way bigger than an actual Barbasol can. I think an actual Barbasol can is about that much, is about that, about that big, and uh, not nearly this thick. But you know, it, it's meant to hold an action figure. Uh, taking a look at the back, a lot of things, I, I noticed a lot of people kind of sleep on this, but this this back section of this uh, packaging, it's not really a box, it's a packaging, uh, it's full of Easter eggs. I mean, just look at this. Barbasol, thick and rich shaving cream. Barbasol, Barbasol original shaving cream is so thick and rich it looks just like whipped cream on. Uh, just looks. It looks just like whipped cream on a piece of pie. There's your first Easter egg. Unscrew the bottom of the can. Fill the interior compartment with dinosaur embryos delivered to the East Dock. Obviously, you wouldn't see that on the real Barbasol can. These are all Easter eggs of the movie, uh, like shaving tips. Drive carefully to avoid crashing your vehicle. Keep glasses on your face. Both things that happen in Nedry. Ingredients: dinosaur embryos. Coolant, one figure, three accessories. Uh, warning, do not play fetch with the Lophosaurus. Do not get venom in your eyes. So, full of cute little Easter eggs here on the back. Strangely enough, there is a QR code, there's a scan code. But these aren't sold on retail, and you'll notice that there is no numbers, but there's still a scan code. I'm pretty sure that's just for the aesthetic of the box. But still, um, I wonder what happens when you scan it. I don't have a QR scanner, so I can't. Tell ya, but flipping on the back, it is an identical replica of the actual Barbasol Beard Buster from 1993. And uh, as you saw before, when you rotate the bottom of the packaging, it reveals. Uh -huh. you just the magic and there you see. Okay, so this is a, a much better packaging than the, our last Comic Con exclusive, which was the Hammond. Um, I'll go ahead and get that now. So here we got the 2019 and the 2020 Comic-Con exclusive for the Jurassic Mattel line. 
Uh, as you can tell, for uh, this one, they certainly went above and beyond packaging wise. This is the type of toy you don't open because of just how much work and, 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 night and uh, thought went into this packaging. But luckily, at least with the Master Chief one, I haven't tried it with this one yet, they made it so you can open it and then repackage it so you can have the best of both worlds. You can have your cake and eat it too. This one is, well, it's not bad. It's still a nice packaging. It's certainly a lot less impressive than the, than the Nedry. It's just this box, and then when you open it, it's the uh, kind of like standard Mattel packaging for the um, Legacy line. Just, you know, shaped to look like the box, but it's still your standard clamshell, nothing too special, no electronics, none of that. This one has lights, electronics, the whole shebang. Now, it has, I think, three or four voice lines, and I can't get the other ones to work. I totally appreciate it. Oh, there we go. Right okay, so there you go. I'll just try and play them all. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! And no wonder you're extinct. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. You didn't say the magic word. I'm totally unappreciated by time. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Dodson, Dodson, we got Dodson here. So, uh, those are the lines. Well, we, we got more. And no wonder you're extinct. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. You didn't say the magic word. So those are the lines that uh, the, the the toy says. Um, first, you have to pull the pull tab out from uh, the bottom. And uh, the voice is really uh, high quality, really clear, nice and loud. The lights are bright. They illuminate the box. Um, just like the Master Chief uh, exclusive, this one's a solid, well done exclusive. Now, my problem itself comes with the figure uh, itself. It's not the most action-packed kind of figure. I mean, it's, uh, it's a fat dude in a Hawaiian shirt with what looks like sweatpants and sandals. You know, not the pinnacle of of um, dinosaur action, but it is supposed to be from the opening scene. I've heard at least that we're getting the raincoat, the proper raincoat uh, version, hopefully. But if this is just a Comic-Con exclusive outfit, I'm totally down with that because not a lot of people are gonna open this anyway. And even fewer people are going to be playing with it. So I think it fits to have the more mundane outfit as the harder to get one because not as many people are gonna want it. And so it's really there for the completionists and the, the true fans. So. As pretty as this packaging is, as you know, we must open it. So, here we have Nedry and all his accessories. We're gonna take a look at the accessories first because they're actually quite impressive. Um, starting off with what I think is the most impressive out of all of them, I don't know how I'm gonna get this show up. Is this tiny little Barbasol can. I mean, just look at that. Look at the amount of printed detail. Now there is a stick, it is just a sticker. You can see right there, that's where it attaches. So if you try and put it in the hand in the wrong way, you may peel the sticker back. Um, so be careful, make sure you grab it in the way that, that pins the sticker against the plastic instead of trying to pull it, peel it off. Cause it is just a sticker and I can totally see that coming off after a while. It won't be a problem for me because it'll be in the box, but for you guys, so. Uh, there is the front, take a look at the back. Obviously it's way too small to see if it has any eligible writing and I don't think it does, but if you can really get down there, I can't uh, really try and, no, I don't think so. But uh, super nice, tiny print, cute little Barbasol can. And um, next accessory is the little piece of pie with the shaving cream on the top. Like I said, these are very scene specific uh, accessories, obviously. And we'll just go ahead and take a look at his bag. This is the bag. The bag with all the money. The literal bag. He was chasing the bag. He secured the bag and he died by the bag. Cool. So, those are pretty much the accessories he comes with. Now let's take a look at Newman himself. No wonder you're extinct. So, taking a look at Dennis Nedry. Um, I can't remember the actor's name, so go ahead and comment it down in the comments. Uh, I almost said Rick Farley, but that's not him. <laughs> I 
cannot remember the actor's name. I'm sorry, as a JP fan, I should be ashamed. But, moving aside, this is another very nice looking figure in the Mattel line for what it's supposed to be. Now, obviously, as an action figure, it's pretty lame. It's, um, like I said, it's a fat dude in a Hawaiian shirt, not the pinnacle of, of action packed. But, for the scene, for the fans of Jurassic Park, this is very cool. Um, Nedry, again, was a figure that came out in the original Kenner line, but it did not do his character justice. I mean, it didn't even look remotely like it. I think they released a second version of the figure where they just added a, a little bit more chub to the face, but didn't capture the look, the feel, or even the uh, character of Nedry. So this one does, obviously, so much better. Uh, he's got his glasses, he's got his weird looking sweatpants. I mean, he totally looks like uh, straight out of the scene. I don't remember him wearing these, these lame sandals, but apparently he was. So yeah, I mean, again, this is, it's hard to, to call this a, a cool action figure because um, it's really not. It's, it's shorter than normal. Um, and I, I can sound like a, like a broken re record that it's not ac action themed, but it is a fan thing. So I'm gonna review it as a fan. And as a fan of Jurassic Park, this is, uh, well, it's perfect. It, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, it, it's not really something you can talk about too much. I mean, it, it is the character from the movie. So, I mean, reviewing dinosaurs is so much easier than reviewing a human figure. So, let's just get onto the articulation. Uh, his arms move about up that much. So, you can get him into a, almost a 90 degree angle. Then they can move down about that much, just making it straight, parallel with the arm. Uh, they have a 360 twist. Head has a 360 twist. Yes. The glasses, are they removable? Because on Hammond and... and uh, uh, Malcolm they are These ones seem like they are if you really wanted to but I'm not gonna force it because again This is gonna be in the packaging. So the last thing I wanted to do is lose an accessory. So Because uh, my Malcolm if you guys didn't know my Malcolm doesn't have glasses. I lost the glasses I mean, I still have an inbox Malcolm, but I'm not gonna unbox them just for the little glasses so and then for The other arm the wrist. I mean the waist has a 360 rotation Legs can move up about that much. You can see his, his uh, little tummy underneath his shirt. Uh, they can move back about that much. You gotta bend at the knee. No ankle articulation whatsoever. And his thighs, you can, ooh. He's limber for a big dude. I could never do that. Ooh, man, that hurt just watching. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we got Nedry. We got, we got Nedry here. See, everybody cares. Alright, so here we have the whole gang back together. Feels like 1993 all over again. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my out of the box Hammond that came with the uh, uh, finale set. But I still got the one in the box, and you can still see all the uh, first movie characters here together. For some reason, uh, Mattel have decided to not even touch the Lost World cast, and I am assuming they're not going to touch the JP3 cast with a 80 foot pole. So this is all, this is the best we're gonna get for now. Uh, I'd be really happy, really surprised if they did bring in a Lost World cast, but I wouldn't count on it. So, I mean, they haven't brought in much more than these guys, and they just now started bringing in Camp Cretaceous characters. So Lost World characters I don't see coming for a while, unless they're gonna make one year where they focus on it, and I doubt it. But for now, this is awesome to have all these characters up together. Now we're still missing a few, like Donald, the kids. Um, wouldn't hurt to get some security. Arnold, of course, and um, maybe even Joffrey. I would like to get a couple Joffreys just to make him JP security. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this isn't the outfit I would have preferred, but to get a new character regardless makes me happy. So I least to get a Nedry. Can't wait to see if they re-release another Nedry with the uh, raincoat body like they did with the Amber Collection. So, uh, you know what kind of comparison we have to make for the last comparison of this video. Nedry's favorite dinosaur. So, here we have Nedry compared to our two star Dilophosauruses. Here we have the one that came with the multi pack for the Legacy like Collection. It, Kaji. This is what Mattel. This is what Mattel would consider in scale. But if we're going across uh, genuineness, 
Uh, this would be more in, in, in tune with a genuine Dilophosaurus scale. So you have best of both worlds. Now, to be honest, this is clearly the best because the articulation, the detail, I mean, it just knocks this one out of the water. There's just no comparison, but this one is a neat little uh, novelty toy. So uh, that's pretty much all I had to say about Nedry. Uh, it's a really cool exclusive. The packaging is super special. Yeah, I mean, in general, I think Mattel really hit it out of the park with this one. To be honest, I do think the Master Chief exclusive is more impressive just because it comes with more stuff. The uh, effect is a little cooler. And um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't even need sound effects. I mean, it would have had a cool, it would have been nice to have that, you know, plug-in sound effect that, that you hear when Chief plugs Cortana into the back of his helmet. But it doesn't need sound effects. The lights are bright. It has all the Master Chiefs you want. This one's cool. Um, but the packaging isn't as high quality. Uh, it's a little more brittle. The Master Chief one's a much thicker, uh, almost like uh, like, like uh, something you feel on the, uh, on the cover of a hardcover book. Whereas this is just clearly like plastic. I mean, it's not cheap plastic. It is nice high quality plastic for a toys box. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're both really nice. A cut above, just, you know, there's not much you're gonna find that's gonna uh, rival this. Even Hot Toys boxes aren't as impressive, I mean, but these are exclusives. So, yeah, I'm just saying, I think the Master Chief one is a little more impressive. They were the same price, but that is pretty much all my thoughts on this figure. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Toy Adventures, signing out. Peace.